like this, but I'm standing like this waiting for live to start. Good morning, you got everybody. Um, all right, I am so obsessed with this look today. We're gonna dive right, right into it. See this skirt? This is the high tide skirt from BB Dakota. It was in our May catalog and it just hit and it's so good. And I don't know what you're doing, where you're going, work, graduations, bridal showers, or just you want to get dressed up because you want to feel good about yourself and you just haven't dressed up in maybe a year and a half. This is the skirt you need immediately. Okay, so under $80. It's super lightweight. It's got this like, I just like love the length. It feels fresh, it feels modern. This little um, slit up the side, which goes on both sides. Elastic waistband, thank you very much. That's like a COVID dream come true. And then I paired it with the Michael Stars Iris Tank. This is a workhorse in your wardrobe, you guys. It goes with everything casual, dressy. Um, I love that it allows, okay, I'm gonna get real up close and personal, but do, you, and do I have a massive hair right there? I do, and now you're gonna, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Not a part of the necklace. But like this little multi-chain, multi-color necklace, this just feels like a fresh add to summer. This would be really cute too with like one of your own little personal delicates or, um, um, oh, Amanda, yes, best tank ever, three, multiple colors. It's so, so good. I'm wearing a medium in this, a medium in the skirt, and then let me finish my styling thought. This would be really cute with like a strong pendant necklace at the end. Like so obsessed and how fun just fresh for summer. And just think if I had a little cut off short right now, total casual vibe. Okay, paired it with our shoots. Um, just our victory sandal. This guy is another workhorse. So obsessed with. I'm already rocking a Birkenstock tan line, so this also really accentuates that little tan line. But last week on live, um, somebody had said, where's all the color? We So many neutrals, where's all the color? Well, we got a rack full of color for you and it's so, so good. So we're just gonna start from like the brightest and work our back way back to kind of the most neutral. I think we're gonna start that way. Okay, get ready. Well, we'll, stick, we'll start with this guy first because this is kind of an oldie but a goodie. But check out this beautiful, neon bright little Peyton Jensen dress. This is just like the easy peasy throw on pool. Um, kind of you're treating it like your sundry weekender dress, but then if you don't want to have to fuss with, you know, a waistband or anything like it, it's just like you toss on and you go throwing out those little easy Freedom Moses, wear it to the pool, you can be on the sidelines. This guy is under 80. It's the Bennett dress, neon pink, color bra friendly. I would do true to size in this. I tried this on last year. Such a good gem. Just easy out the door. Don't want to wear pants. This guy's going to be the winner for you. All right. Staying in that neon fun color palette. Check out this new little item from Z Supply. It's the Cala Open Back Wash Pullover. Okay. So statement already because it's like the best neon hit. Like Check out the little raw hem in here, so fun. It's like a light terry sweatshirt. Love like the little raw hem at the end. But then, flip it around, look at how sick that little back de detailing is. Can't, I'm so excited and maybe I've had too many cups of coffee. Like I'm gonna stutter through my words because my mouth is moving faster than my head is. So bear with me on all of that. Um, but check out this little like swoop back. This is a little cutout. It's um, tacked here so it's not like complete back showing. Our buyers are so smart, so I'm assuming this is all bra friendly, so it doesn't matter what you're wearing underneath, it's not gonna like poke through. But this feels like a fun little fresh item for summer, a little cut off short, be even really cute with a little camo short. Um, oh, I have a really cute pair of um, boyfriend jeans in here that would be adorable with it. But just feels fresh and light, lightweight enough for like the 70 degree weather that you're not overheating, but you like a little bit heavier than a t-shirt. So, new from Z Supply more color new hoodie from sundry how fun is this if you remember at the beginning of spring i mean we're talking summer here now we are in summer mode here at ever um we had that neon green hoodie and now it just came in this really beautiful like hot coral um tangerine to be exact this is the basic hoodie just really lightweight knit sundry fabrics wash incredibly well they feel amazing um, how pretty is this? And then I just love this like dip dye, tie dyed um, ties. I just think that adds a little bit of character and fun to this little hoodie. And this is thin enough that if you guys wanted a layer under a denim jacket, it would be perfect. But how cute is this? Okay, I'm just gonna keep, like look at how cute this little outfit is. These are new Seven for All Mankind boyfriend jeans. 
How adorable would this be for like a little Saturday weekend vibe? Just pair this with a pair of sneakers or even a white Birkenstock and you're totally set. Adorable. Let's talk about these jeans more. Because the destru destruction, so, so good. So this is in the vintage Lux, which means it has this really great vintage wash. What's the name of that hoodie? Sorry. It is the basic hoodie from Sundry. Um, but like really great destruction. Vintage wash gives you the look of a vintage jean, but not that rigidness. So it has some really great stretch to it. So, so good. Um, and this is a really beautiful light wash blue. Ugh, it's so good. And what I love about the Josefina by um, Seven is it's not completely oversized. You can buy true to size and has that great stretch. So you get the look of a boyfriend. It's just not crazy oversized. But this new wash is just absolutely stunning so so pretty okay we're kind of tipping back into our neutrals but i mean tie-dye is not dead and check out this adorable little top i'm actually completely obsessed with this top i saw it like earlier this spring and it is stunning um it's in a gauze weight fabric this is by Ch oh this is bb dakota it's the cool million top um just like little pleating on top so if you don't like if you're kind of the gal who doesn't like like fitted tops or tees, this one is just like a little lightweight, kind of floats away. Um, really cute with like some destructed denim. Um, little ruffle sleeve. And then the cool thing, it has like elastic back on the, on the, elastic back on the back. Okay, got all that. Um, one thing that's really neat about this top is that it has adjustable buttons. So you can kind of control the length of the strap if you wanted to make it a little bit longer, if you want it a little bit shorter, it allows you to um, adjust that. But absolutely adorable little BB Dakota top. Okay, more tie-dye and we're creeping back into our neutral colors, but this is a new top from Chaser and it is like, okay, I know that right now you're like, okay, it looks just like the Michael Starr's tank top. It's completely different. Okay, few reasons being. Well, number one, I like that the tie-dye is like gray on gray. So, so cute. But it's made out of linen fabric. So it's not the cotton base like the iris is. It has a little bit more of a linen, which is so great for summer. But here's a little fun secret. There's a shoulder pad in it. So if you love that little sanctuary, it's like the black and blush sanctuary strong shoulder top we have. This is like the same idea of that, but in a tie-dye. So just this tiny little strong shoulder. So, so pretty. It's got the rolled sleeves tacked so it just adds a little bit of character again super cute back to denim this would be really fresh with, with white but we have a new short in town by citizens of Hum humanity in this beautiful oh my gosh what's the color i feel like i should see what they call the color cottonwood it's like this really pretty beige i don't want to use the term khaki but i'm gonna use the khaki is the bb dakota top true to size this little BB Dakota top, yes, I would say this is true to size. I'd probably buy this in a medium just because of kind of that flowy shape. If you go any bigger, I just feel like everything is going to hang under the armpit and the neckline. So I would do true to size in that BB Dakota top. Um, yeah, this is Chaser. I was like, I hope it's not this one. But I'm like, I kind of love this whole neutral washed vibe of these little citizens with this Chaser top. Um, how cute are these? This little button fly has all this great wash in here, so it makes it look lived in. Um, little um, slits on the side, which I love as a gal who has a little bit more of an athletic leg. Just giving me that room to the leg so it doesn't suck really tight to the thigh always feels amazing. And one thing, little fit tip too. I think if you have a stronger leg, I love shorts that kind that are angled like this. I just think it makes the legs look longer. Um, it doesn't feel like it's like totally stuck on what might feel like the largest or widest part of your thigh. So anytime you find a short that has just a little bit of an angle, I think it's crazy, crazy flattering. Loving the shoulder pads. I'm kind of loving the shoulder pad trends too. So, so good. All right, last dress, last item on the rack here. We have so many goodies today. Um, but I've kind of been waiting for this and I think you guys have been too. We've been hearing you guys are getting out. Things that got canceled last year are getting rescheduled and you guys are getting to see people and um, I don't know, celebrate for all these amazing life events that are coming and you probably need something to wear. Okay, this is your answer. A little back dress, always the right way to go no matter what event you have coming in. This coming up, this is by Allison Joy. This is the Georgia gauze dress. I don't think it's completely gauzy. I think it's a little bit more of this elevated dressy gauze. If um, you probably can't see it here. It just has a little bit more of 
of a dressier vibe, which I love. This neckline, this kind of square neckline, crazy flattering, also really big on a trend right now. This great little puff sleeve. This is double lined, everyone, so it's not like you can see right through it. Yes, just got this for my son's graduation. Perfect, this would be an awesome graduation little dress. And I, what I love about Alice and Joy and what our designers do, and nothing's crazy short. So it's gonna be a perfect length. You guys could definitely dress it up with like the victory sandal I have on, or you could do a little bit more of a flat black lacy sandal, or you could have fun with your accessories. A colorful earring, maybe this colorful necklace, doing a colorful shoe. I don't know, I just think it's like one of the most versatile dresses you guys can have. And then triple, 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 triple. I don't know, this is the biggest win to me because my wedding dress had this, it has pockets. What are we putting in here? I don't know, lip gloss. If you're at some specific places, masks, keys, Kleenexes, confetti. I don't know what you're keeping in your pocket, but it's here for you and it's ready to celebrate with you. So that is the new arrivals rack. So good. I'm, I'm ready to shop as always. When am I not ready to shop? But all right. I hope you all have an amazing week. Enjoy the weather. Summer is legit around the corner or it's here for some of us. It's 80 degrees here today. So it just feels also good, but I'm going to see you next Monday. Bye.